Hey guys, so I decided to do a favorites video because it's been a while. I haven't done one and I've liked some things, so I figured I would share them with you. So if you want to see what I've been liking lately, keep on watching. My dog is currently wondering who I'm talking to, what I'm doing, and what this chair is doing in the middle of the bedroom. Hi little bear. This is a little bear. She's okay. First thing, best first, not waiting till last eyelash perm. So I bought this on Amazon and it's an eyelash perming kit. It comes with like all of these solutions and you just follow the directions and it takes about 20 minutes to do on each eye and you perm your eyelashes and if you have straight eyelashes like I do they stay permanently up for like a month. I did mine over a month ago and they're still curled. Can you see? So my eyelashes used to always be stick straight. Now they're curled. So it's awesome because I don't have to curl my eyelashes and when I put on mascara, they don't just go straight right after I curl them. So this is literally my favorite thing of life. It does take some getting used to on how to do it perfectly and everything, but I think my eyelashes look fine and it's been a month. I'll probably redo them in a couple weeks. So if you guys want to see like an in-depth video on how I do it, let me know and I can do that for you. Next thing is kind of boring, but I had to mention. Um, <laughs> it's my favorite cotton squares. Okay, these are from Amazon and I get these shipped to me every single or like every few months just automatically because they're literally the best. It's 160 pack and it's like $3 or something and they're 100% cotton and they're just like the best cotton squares. I don't know why, but I mean, I was using just like the dollar ones from Target and they're just not that good. And if you're gonna be using these things like multiple times a day, shouldn't you like the, the way that they feel? Speaking of cotton pads, which is what I use with them, the Pixie Glow Tonic. So it's a toner that exfoliates your skin because it has 5% glycolic acid in it. And I'm almost out of it, so I'm sad, but I have like the small one, so I'll probably be getting the, the big one next time. But at night, I use this as my toner. And the plus side is, is that it's okay for sensitive skin. Like if you have really sensitive skin, I would recommend just using it like twice a week or something. But I can use this every night, and I do think that it's been helping my skin. So I'm into it, I love it. The thing I'm wearing on my cheeks, I don't know if you can see, but I have it on my cheeks and down the bridge of my nose. It is ColourPop's um, highlighter in Flexitarian and it's really nice. Um, sometimes I put it on the inner corners of my eyes too. If you guys have seen any pictures of me with like a bright inner corner highlight, it's this, but it's just a really nice highlight. Um, I really like it and it's like, five or six dollars so it's really affordable it's next favorite to go along with eyelashes sorry i'm obsessed with eyelashes <laughs> i just want perfect eyelashes all the time and when you're someone that like has blonde eyelashes that are straight you just want to fix them and i've been figuring out ways to fix them so rapid lash i've been using this off and on for like a year or two or something, but I completely forgot about it. And the last time I did lash extensions, my eyelashes just, they didn't grow back super long, which maybe they have never been long, but um, I've been using Rapid Lash. Can you see my eyelashes? <laughs> I've been using them probably for like three weeks and I can tell a difference. Like today when I was putting on my mascara, I was just like, I have the longest eyelashes in the world. So let's see if we can do a close up. I just looked into my bag and realized that most of the things that I'm showing you are for eyelashes. So I apologize, but that's what I'm into. Okay, so my mascara combo. I love it. You might've seen it in my like getting ready everyday makeup routine. The L'Oreal Voluminous Base, you need this. Like I've only gone like one day not using it. And I was like, why do I have no eyelashes? <laughs> But like seriously, this stuff is amazing. It's like $5 and you just put it on for your, before your regular mascara. It's like a white mascara. It's literally amazing. You need to try it. Like go get it right now. Like seriously, or like go order it. You need it. I promise you're gonna love it. Okay, the next is um, Maybelline's Mega Volume Miss Baby Roll. Downside is, is that you can only get this in like England or Europe or something. I'm not really sure. It's not in America. 
So I had to order on eBay, but if you can find it on eBay, I highly recommend getting it. It is amazing. I look up reviews from beauty bloggers about this. Like everyone says that your eyelashes will look amazing. And I keep trying to try different ones like that's from here because I almost had this for three months. So that means I need a new mascara, but nothing compares. Okay, I guess we'll just keep going with the theme of the eyes. <laughs> um, this e.l.f blending brush is great. It's a dollar. Everyone needs it. I just dropped it. Everyone needs it. Um, I use it for my under eye eyes to, to use for my setting under eye powder. I have like three of these, so I use one for that. And then when I'm applying my eyeshadow, I blend it out on top with this and go under my eyes with it. It's amazing. Everyone needs it. It's a dollar. Go get it. Next, the eyeshadows that I've been up so I didn't used to wear eyeshadow and then I started wearing eyeshadow and I'm like why did I never wear eyeshadow I literally just put one color on because that's what I like um, I kind of like like a natural look but um, yeah I've just put in um, I'm really in to this color by elf called toasted it's three dollars it's a like rose gold color. It looked really good when I had pink hair, but it still works when I have blonde hair. So um, yeah, it's really nice. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. So as you can see, it's really natural, but it just gives a little bit of a shimmer and a little bit of like rose goldness that looks nice. And then if I'm going like bolder, um, I'll use this color called Bark, which is like a brown color, but it kind of has some like purplish in it. I think like, not really noticeable, but it has a little bit of purple in it, trust me. Um, and I'll wear that on days when I wanna go a little bit bolder and smokier, but like these are so good and they're only $3. Okay, next up, The Ordinary. I don't know if you guys know about The Ordinary, but they're like a skincare brand and it's all just like very like simple, like it tells you exactly what it is and it's amazing and it's very inexpensive. I love that it's inexpensive. So this is a peeling solution and I just got this one like a couple weeks or just like a week ago and I tried it out, it's cool. So it's a peeling mask and it's supposed to get rid of like pigmentation, um, dead skin cells, it helps with like fine lines. So I wanted to try it. I've only used it one time because you can only use it up to two times a week but I'm only gonna be using it one time a week so I'm gonna use it again tonight. I'm pretty excited. I wanted to use it yesterday, but I was like, Amy, calm down. You don't want to get like a sunburn on your face. But anyway, so you put it on. It looks like your face is covered in blood. It's awesome, especially because it's almost Halloween. And then um, you leave it on for 10 minutes. It has a slight stinging sensation, nothing crazy. Like it kind of feels like when you have a sunburn, but then as soon as you wash it off, there's no more stinging sensation. And when you wake up in the morning, your skin's just like glowy and perfect. And I can't wait to see what happens when I use more. All right, next favorite is the Sephora perfume sampler. So they have a few different ones of these. I ended up this time getting one that like comes with like mini, travel size perfumes. Um, all of the ones I like are taken out, so that's why it's half empty. But the cool thing about this is so it costs $65, but then you get a certificate inside of there to go get a full size perfume. And the great thing is that a lot of the perfumes that are in this box cost more than $65. So you end up saving money. So the one I ended up picking out was Flower Bomb. It's $85 normally, but I got it for free, you know, I got it for 65 because I bought this. So I'm telling you guys, if you want a new like high-end perfume, go to Sephora, find one of their sampler boxes. Okay, moving on to my foundation of choice. It's been the Make Sense Color Correcting Tinted Moisturizer. As you can see, I'm almost through the entire thing, but I have a backup, so it's fine. I didn't think I was gonna like this. I'm, I used to think that I only liked full coverage. I still like full coverage, but this stuff is great. I don't break out. Like, this is like the clearest my skin has ever been. I don't know if it's because of the skincare, because of this, but I'm pretty sure this has something to do with it. Cause this has our Cineplex complex in it and like that renews your skin and it's really good for you. But this stays on all day and it doesn't settle into my fine lines, which is awesome because I have smile lines. And when, when I wear foundation, it ends up making me look horrible. <laughs> 
<laughs> because it just sinks into my fine line. Yeah, it's amazing because when I wear this, I don't get the little smile line indentations and it's amazing. So I'm really excited. I'm actually gonna be trying like the full coverage foundation version of this and seeing if I like it also. Last but not least, my lip color of life. It's what I'm wearing right now and I just think it looks so good on me. <laughs> like, sorry, is that conceited? I don't know. But I just feel like I finally found my color. It's Lexi Berry Lip Sense. So it doesn't come off. It doesn't rub off. Um, it was funny, I was watching one of my old videos. <laughs> I'm like wearing orange lipstick in it. And I'm pretty sure throughout the whole video, I have orange lipstick on my teeth. I used to never wear lip colors or lipstick or anything because they would always come off on my teeth or like, I have hyperhidrosis. I don't know if you guys know this, but um, my face sweats, my hands sweat. My I'm just a sweaty person. But um, the downside of my face sweating is, is that if I wear like lipstick, it smears on the top lip. So I was just over wearing lipstick. I would only wear chapstick because that's just embarrassing. But lip sense, it doesn't come off. It's amazing. And I just like, oh. I'm so happy that I found LipSense and that's the reason why I sell it. So if you guys are interested and want to learn more, I'm your girl. I've been selling for over a year. I know lots and I can find the perfect color for you. But anyways, Lexi Berry. It's so good, right? So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I had so much fun filming this and I hope you guys are having a fantastic October and let me know what you guys are gonna be for Halloween in the comments below because I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm gonna be a cat. I could wear this vest and like this entire outfit. Um, I might be a mermaid because I know some like cool makeup tricks to be a mermaid. Um, I don't know though. What are you guys gonna be? Can't wait to hear. <laughs> Bye.